I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. I was reading in Acts chapter 19 and began to question, does the Holy Spirit come to us when we believe, when we're baptized, or is it always with us but we can't decide when we accept it? Okay, this is a really good question on two levels. Number one, the book of Acts is a very transitional book of the Bible. You say, what do you mean transitional? It takes us from the life, the ministry, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the early church, all the way to about three decades through the early church to when we start having the scripture in the hands of the believers. It's transitioning because you're having individuals, and in this case, groups of people who are hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ for the very first time. For example, Acts chapter 2, the gospel goes unto the Jews. Acts chapter 8, the Samaritans. Acts chapter 10, the Gentiles. You see this transition to the, quote, uttermost parts of the earth that Jesus mentioned earlier in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Chapter 19 of the book of Acts is what I would like to call a unique outlier. In other words, it's kind of outside the flow of normality. In all the letters of the Apostle Paul, Romans, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, etc., there's no mention of any quote-unquote receiving of the Holy Spirit as a secondary event to the time of which we believe on Jesus Christ for our salvation. I would claim biblically, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20, and other passages, that the moment a person calls on Jesus to save them, they immediately have the presence of the Holy Spirit within them. They are the temple of the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 19, you have this isolated event where people have heard about Jesus. They believed he was the Messiah, but they claim this Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit we've never heard of. It's very similar to Acts chapter 8 and the Samaritans that Philip witnessed the gospel unto. I think the thing that is important to this question is by the time you get to Acts chapter 28, these outlier events are no longer occurring. The entire world has heard the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, and what we see as a New Testament formula is that we understand our sin condition, we realize Jesus is the answer, we call on him to save us, and upon that calling out, immediately the presence of God, the Holy Spirit, dwells within us. That is the New Testament pattern. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.